Okay, I got another one of these cheap kind of uh, vintage guitars. This one is a Harmony H802. It, it doesn't work right now, and it's missing the nut. Um, I found it at an antique store. It's a pretty good deal. I got it for $20, uh, just the guitar. The case was from another dealer in the same store. Uh, I got that for 15 but it's for a Stratocaster. And it's a deluxe hard shell case. It just needs a little bit of love. But anyway, um, this guitar was on a shelf. It was behind a bent uh, slide trombone, so I saw, thought they were decorations. So I asked the guy, you know, if it's a decoration, he said, no, it's for sale. And um, he said, well, what would you pay for it? Um, I said, not that much. Um, and he said, well, how about 20? I said, oh, sure, yeah. So anyway, I'm probably going to give this a very quick paint job and also just take it apart and see what's wrong with it. It is missing the nut, and it's got a cracked uh, pick guard right there. I thought about giving it a really quick paint job with this kind of creamy color. I got this in the clearance at Walmart for 3 bucks. Um, I've been wanting to try this brand just because it looks inter the can looks interesting. I, I like this kind of thing. It's not the color inside. It makes it look like it's just a piece of plastic. But um, I think it said it's made in Spain. And it's just a little bit more expensive than the usual paint cans that I use from Walmart. <clears throat> but the reason why I just want to give it a little quick paint job is because I can't. these things really aren't that valuable where I live. Even if you fix them up, you can barely get... I mean, I get like from 80 to 135 for them. And uh, just people just want to, you know, just like me, they want to get them cheap. Anyway... Stay tuned and hopefully the next video we'll have this back together.